A unit dedicated to the 2S LGBTQ plus communities, their priorities and issues could soon be coming to the city of Toronto. The unit's really important. It allows um, people to work directly with the community to kind of address maybe issues around housing, homelessness, drug use, uh, systemic issues, policing. At a recent city council meeting, staff were instructed to investigate the feasibility of such a team. More than a dozen people making up the city's 2SL GPTQ plus advisory committee pushed for this initiative. It's really a reflection of some of what we learned over the course of the pandemic, that different communities have specific requirements and that if you're not explicitly calling out uh, those communities, they often get lost. And we see this a lot with queer communities and the disabled community. Toronto's 2S LGBTQ plus communities have long faced inequities, often being left out of policies that lead to systemic impacts that are harmful and displace residents. Structurally, you know what I mean? Uh, we've always used sort of like policing and other ways to control some of these issues that a lot of our LGBTQ and questioning people experience. We know that they're disproportionately uh, represented in the shelter and housing community. So how do we make sure that we are building supportive housing. Similar to other equity seeking communities within the city, this team would consistently give guidance and be included in wider policy making. The committee says the unit can help push to make inclusion of 2SL GBTQ plus perspectives the expected standard for publicly funded policies and spaces. The hope is that this unit could actually get some traction to say 2SL GBTQ people are everywhere in the city they access every service in the city. And so whatever is being publicly funded needs to have a lens that understands that uh, queer trans two spirit people need to be able to come and access them safely and not have to go to the village. Toronto's 2S LGBTQ plus communities are as diverse as the city is, and including a variety of these voices matter when it comes to the creation of the unit. I'd like to see Black, African communities, people from the Two-Spirit Indigenous community, people from that are working in, you know, homeless and drug community, or people that are sex workers. You know, we have such a diversity of people in our communities are most often overlooked when it comes to uh, implementing services through the city or policies that could really affect people's lives and how they're treated. So. A report from city staff on the possibility of the unit is expected to go back to city council in 2023. In Toronto, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.